Yo, how's it going everyone? Welcome to the live stream today. Obviously, massive game tomorrow in Derby County versus Nottingham Forest. Away days. As always, wait for a few people to come on here and then we'll get started. And welcome to the first viewer, Niall High, followed by Seb, West Brom fan. Nathan, Hyper Matt, George, Lloyd, Nathan again, Niall, he says, come on, Forrest, JK Rye, Drew Bailey, Ryan Walters. Welcome, everyone. I hope the connection's all right. Uh, and if it is, let me know. If it isn't, tell me and I'll change it quickly. But welcome to Derby County, away days tomorrow versus... Nottingham Forest, none other than, welcome to everyone who's on here, uh, I really appreciate you uh, joining the live stream, it means a lot, don't forget to drop a like on the video, uh, if you could subscribe, get the notifications on, obviously tomorrow is the big one, Forest away, vlog's going to be an absolute madness, um, so stay tuned for it, and I'm hoping for a massive three points, most importantly, going there tomorrow, going to the shitty ground tomorrow. So, obviously, last time out for us, wait, who's, who's for that? Isn't it just East Midlands Derby? Derby because, yeah, loads of floods in Derby right now. I'm not sure whether the game's going to be called off. Um, Forrest did it last week or the other week before when they uh, played Reading. They ended up calling it off. Keep up the career of YouTube and cheers, appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and all of that good stuff. Keen, I doubt it will be on three people have died. Don't think anyone will be able to get to Nottingham. Half of Derby is flooded. I know half of Derby is flooded, but I'm sure, obviously, uh, away and sold out, as always, when we travel to Forest. I know it, it pretty much is a standard, like, Obviously, it's good to see an, an away and sold out, but I'd expect nothing less. It's only like 45 minutes, if that, um, down the road. So, obviously, bricking it. We never really do turn up. At, well, I've been three, four times now. We haven't turned up any, time, any times that I've been there. Maybe the 2-2, the first time I went, when Vidra and uh, Nugent scored, and they got a last-minute goal. But I've never been... And uh, seeing Derby win at the City Ground. I'm hoping for that to change tomorrow. Obviously, 9th of November. Going to come back and uh, watch KSI Logan Paul fight. I might do live reactions to that if you want me to. If not, then I'll just keep it to the match review from the game. Forest Ground is flooded. It looks like an absolute mess. I think I saw it on someone's story. Absolutely covered. Uh, but hopefully they'll sort it out. Tricky Ghost says KSI or Logan. I don't want him to win. I obviously want KSI, but I've got to say Logan. He he just looks better. Like, I've got a feeling he's going to do it. Obviously, I want KSI, though, because Logan is so annoying, fam. Obviously, but less of the KSI-Logan fight. I'm just on about Derby v Forest. Absolute mad weekend of football ahead of us. Literally, such a jam-packed weekend. We got Forest Derby, then come back from that, Leicester v Arsenal, then Logan Paul v KSI, then we wake up and it's City versus Liverpool. Weekend full of sports. We love to see it. Welcome, 41 viewers. You are absolutely smashing it. Uh, if you could drop a like on the video, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, score prediction. Right, here we go. Score prediction for the game. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Rams win. You heard it here first. We'll definitely concede. Um, the first sort of 10 minutes will pretty much decide this game. Sorry, just trying to read your comments. The first 10 minutes will decide this game. All we got to do, I know it's easier said than done, but all we got to do is just chill around the back, dead the football, dead the atmosphere. Because if they start attacking, pressing early on, the crowd's going to get behind them. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much how it's been for the past few years. Especially the last time we went to the city ground. 
uh, and got absolutely spanked three 0 I know it was a younger it was a younger squad, uh, and Koku didn't really have an idea of his starting eleven. He's got a better idea of it now, um, and I'm hoping we can get three points tomorrow. All I've got to say is, as always, to the players, play the game, not the occasion. Uh, we don't really tend to do that. Um, if you hate Forrest, sit down. There you go. If you hate Forrest, stand up. Score prediction, Derby County says, I think Derby will win 10-0. I doubt that. Wagwan, how's it going? Uh, ben Russell vlogs, Anish. Let me know your score predictions in the comments. I'd really appreciate if you could drop a like on the video, as always. So, obviously, last time these two teams met was earlier on in the season in the Carabao Cup. Um, and it was a 3-0 embarrassment at the City Ground. You guys smashed the support on that video. Uh, so, yeah, why not check it out before the big game? I'm hoping for something a lot better this time. Uh, not only the result, but I'm hoping for a good performance. Uh, predicted lineups, let's do it. I reckon it will be a 4-2-3-1 tomorrow from um, Philip Koku. Goalkeeper, Keller Ruse. I won't really start Hammer. Uh, yeah, I'd start with Keller Ruse. Back four of Malone, Davis, Clark and Jaden Bogle. Two holding midfielders, Shinny and Bielik. Uh Three... Um, Attack is sort of, so you got the number 10 and then you got someone on the left and someone on the right. Uh, so just behind the striker as a number 10, I'll have Tom Lawrence. When he's um, when he's playing central, he's on it. Like We saw him against um, Huddersfield, we saw him against Borough, um, and that is the Tom Lawrence we want to see. So yeah, I'd have Lawrence as a number 10, uh, central behind the striker, and then... On the right, maybe Waghorn. And then on the left, I'd probably go with Dwayne Holmes. And then up front, Jack Marriott or Chris Mine, either one of the two. It just depends what game plan uh, Koku's thinking. What I'm, what I'm thinking is, which I don't really want to see it, but we're just going to sit deep. Uh, we saw it at Leeds earlier on in the season when we played him at Ellen Road. And... We just sat deep and tried pinging it up. If he's going to do that, start Martin. If we're going to play fast pace, build up, then uh, I'd start with Jack Marriott because Chris Martin, unless he's got loads of support around him, he's not really that great. Uh, yeah, just reading some of your guys' comments now. Up the red, Scotty G says 1-1. One, one. Respect to you Forest fans on here, not causing problems. If you... Go go away, Forest fans. 2-1 Derby if the game isn't called off. I hope it isn't. For everyone's sake, I hope it isn't called off. Just, as I said, absolutely buzzing. Can't wait for it. I'm literally uh, just seeing the tickets and literally like five rows from the home fans uh, on, this side, on this stand here. So, yeah, it should be class. And I'm absolutely buzzing. Uh... Wayne Rooney obviously don't come till January. Apparently, he's been in and around more Farm recently, uh, chatting to the players, chatting to Koku and all of that. Theme Park Fun says 3-2 Rams. Can't really, if I'm being honest with you there, I can't really see there being many goals in this game. Uh, it just is a cagey affair, as it always is. Not tons of goals. Obviously, the last time that happened was 5-0. Now, I'm joking. To be fair, the last time we saw quite a few goals was 3-0. Um, to be fair, 2-1 Rams, Kirsty Hackett, I would take a 1-0, a 2-0, a 3-0, I would take anything. If we got three points tomorrow at the City Ground, it'd be massive. I know uh, Nottingham Forest, the first time we're playing them and they're above us in quite a while. But this game, upsets aren't really unheard of in this one, that's all I can say. It is going to be a really, really interesting affair uh, and George says, Clash YouTuber makes my day seeing you grow. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Keep up with YouTube, Keen, you are great. Cheers, thank you. Callum, uh, he's a Forest fan. He's just put red and white uh, emojis. Ellis Goddard says, If Lawrence and Marriott are off form, you won't have a chance. Exactly. If these lot aren't on form, we won't get a result. If they are, we got a really, really good chance of getting a result. Um... Mr. Ginge 
says 2-0, Shinny and Lawrence getting the goals. I don't mind who scores. I don't mind if it's an own goal, anything. What I'm predicting is they're going to get an early goal, uh, maybe in the first 10, 10, 15 minutes. Obviously, it's really hard to... Obviously, it's really hard to call because um, the last time these two teams met, both t both managers not really got to grips with their teams, especially for Derby's sake. Um, Red Dog, how, it, how is Patterson and Dow doing for you? Patterson, not too bad. J uh, Dow, not great at all, though. I'm, I can't even lie. He's He was given a chance at Hull again, and he didn't really do much. Byron Duckworth... Says Yoki and I'm going for a 1 0 Rams win. Love that. Um, yeah, I'm hoping we can get three points. As I said, who's to start up front tomorrow? Surely Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence, Marriott, Martin, Koku's got a lot of options. The Rams are amazing. And Forrest are. Oh, I'm sure you lot can all read that from Dylan. <laughs> Go live with Mr. Door. I'm currently doing this off my phone. So unless I call him off another phone. If if you want me to go live with Mr. Door, then let me know. But yeah, I mean, Forest fans on it. I think it is Sabri Lamucci, Sabri Lamucci, their manager. I think it is them. Uh, is birthday tomorrow? So what better birthday present would it be than a home loss for Nottingham Forest? That would just be class. Lewis McCarthy, Heike, and I think it will be four three derby. Seven goal thriller, imagine. Mate, ideally tomorrow we just sit back, chill out, last five minutes, completely go at them after absorbing all that pressure and imagine. Can we all just take a minute to imagine? Last minute goal to put Derby County up. 1-0 with about two or three minutes to go. Absolute carnage in the away end. That's all I'm saying. Uh, and to be fair, I'm just being real with you guys here. The only time we're good away from home is Forest away. Uh, especially the concourse, the build-up to the game. It's always buzzing. If every game was like that, our atmosphere would be up there with one of the best in England. But it just isn't. Obviously, we just perform against the rivals. Um... Even against the likes of Leeds, we weren't great. Obviously, we had limbs because it was last minute, but... Um, who's put that? Keo should have walked home. Callum Caldwell. Yeah, he should have, to be fair. Can't really disagree with you. I think Jack Marriott will get a last second goal. Imagine the scenes. Jack... No, you know what I'd love to see? If anyone wants to score tomorrow, it's got to be Tom Lawrence. I know that may sound a bit controversial, but imagine Tom Lawrence. Last minute... Knee slides into the derby end. Ruben Juna, this is my first Forest game. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. You can't really beat it. Even Wembley when we went. Um, the atmosphere was booming in Covent Garden uh, before that. But it's nothing like Forest. Forest is absolutely banging. Especially building up to the game. I know not recently we've been great in the ground. Because it's normally been a first minute goal. Followed by a flipping... 45th minute goal, followed by a fourth full time minute goal. How can you enjoy it when you sing on the concourse but never in the ground? You can't really help that. We just sing wherever we can. Um, like we're not just gonna start having a party if we're losing three 0 Tommy Lawrence is going to be up for this game. Yeah, definitely, especially after loads of stick, which you could say he deserves, could say he don't. Um but Doran Tor says he's going to really be up for this game. I completely agree. Um, I feel like he's he's going to be thinking he has something to prove. Kieran Savita says, line-up prediction. Already said it, but I'll go over it again. In goal, uh, Keller Roos. Back four of Max Lowe. Part of me thinking Malone, part of me Malone, uh, Lowe. But I think Malone's injured. So if that is the case... Uh, I'd put Max Lowe there. Not the best physically, but going forward, he's solid. Um, yeah, Malone's out. Yeah, so yeah, uh, Max Lowe left back. Two centre-backs, rocks at the back of Curtis Davis, who was in the starting eleven when we played these lot earlier on in the season uh, in the Carabao Cup. And Matt Clark. I don't know who that is, fam. I don't know who that is. 
Nevertheless, right back, Jaden Bogle. Two holding midfielders, Shinny and Bielik. Love to get in the challenge. Bielik proving himself week in and week out. Oh, he just put there Callum. Joe Lolly versus Lau. <sighs> He's going to get ripped on that side. Just saying. Uh, so, as I was saying, two holding midfielders of Bielik and Shinny. And then the three, Waghorn, Lawrence and uh, Dwayne Holmes. And then up front, Jack Maria or Clark, uh, or sorry, Chris Martin, depending on what Koku's going for. Uh, he said in his pre match interview that he said in his pre match interview that it's one of the best places to win. Completely agree. He understands the rivalry a lot more now, I think. He didn't understand it first time around. He put out a bunch of under 18s against our biggest rivals. Byron Duckworth, Keen, imagine a seven goal thriller like Norwich away last season. What a game that would be. Mate, if we win 4-3 tomorrow, I'll do a giveaway. I don't know what, but if we win 4-3 tomorrow, I'll give away something. Whether it's tickets, uh, anything from the derby shop, I'll do something. Because 4-3, absolutely crazy. My, I don't think I'd be able to take it. Honestly, I don't think I'd be able to take that. Forrest played a rotated side as well. Not as much as us. We played like a C or D team. We lot played a B team. Right, Kian, I'm off. Good luck tomorrow and keep up the great vlog, says Robert44. Robert, I appreciate that. If you guys want to check out his video, he ranked a football YouTube channel slash vloggers. And he put me in the B section, the top section. So, yeah, check Robert44 out. 44 people watching, 11 likes. Why? 45 people watching, 23 likes. Everyone smash a like on the video. Kian, what is your favourite chant? Uh... Since I was young, it depends when we're singing it. If we're like losing or drawing and there's about six people singing it, won't be great. Well, say if we just scored and everyone's on it, that's when it's the best time. Uh, also, quick question. I know I haven't done it for this past week because um, I've just been planning and thinking of ideas to do for the game tomorrow. I'm going to be meeting up with a few of the Forest vloggers, Doron Tor, Jack Pugsley, Match Day with Max if he is there. Um... Going to try my best to get with them free. I was going to last time, but we literally got the... So there's like a gate, and then the away end is right here. And that was where I was meant to meet Jack, the forest vlogger. But they closed the gate for about half an hour, 40 minutes, and kickoff was literally this close. So he had to go to his seat, which is understandable, uh, which is why... Uh, I think he did send in a video as well, but the reception was shocking, so it didn't even get through. Um... Obviously, if I was to compare positions, Forrest and Derby, uh, goalkeeper, I'd say theirs is better. Uh, I'm just trying to be unbiased here. I'd probably say their goalkeeper's better. Uh, just looks more commanding. I'd say Ruse looks like a solid shot stopper, but he never does anything uh, other than that. So, yeah, I'd probably say their goalie's better. Um, standout players for them? Well, I'll, going off um, the last time we played these lot, uh, and just previous games, not even this season, but previous seasons. Joe Lolly, class player, loves to get a goal against Rams as well. Uh, Lewis Graben, if they do start him, I think they took uh, watching the Wigan game a f couple of weeks back. I think they just took him for granted. Uh, Lamucci didn't start Graben, and they just had no attacking outlet. So if he does start him tomorrow, that's going to be a massive bonus for them. Obviously not for us. Ruse is a one-season wonder. When he came in for Carson, like, last season, as soon as he came in, maybe it's just because of his youth, we thought he was so much better. But now we've actually seen him week in, week out, and he isn't that great, not even going to lie. See you at the game tomorrow. Yeah, as always, anyone who wants to come up for a picture or get in the vlog or anything like that, then let me know. I think I'm sitting in X2. I haven't even checked, like... The actual block I'm in. It's the one right near to the uh, home fans. Also, if you guys want me to do a uh, FIFA career mode, then let me know. Um, I put a poll out and the majority was yes, but I just haven't got around to doing it. So maybe sometime this week, I don't think, I think it might be Fulham, the midweek game. But if not, uh, I'll make a FIFA manager career mode with Derby. Obviously, got the green screen, so it'll be a lot better this year. 
door go live, I will come on. I would do, but I just clocked. I'm using my phone for this. And um, I couldn't really like do both, if you get me. Byron says, Keen, do you play Xbox? No, I play PS4. And if you want smoke on FIFA, at my tag, it's Keen underscore M, all lowercase. What's your score prediction? And Angus asks, my score prediction, lad, is going to be, excuse me, 2-1 goal scorers, Tom Lawrence and... Christian Bielik. PS4 for the win. Yes, FIFA, mate. I'll dash you on FIFA, mate. I'm the best thing since last bread on FIFA. Saw you last derby game, matey. You walked past me. Would have loved to jump in the vlog. If you ever see me, whether you're a steward, an opposition fan, a home fan... Always feel free to get in. Xbox One, Pez 2020. I remember, who was it, that King Solomon? When I did a FIFA series last year, he said FIFA was whack. He's been a Pez guy since day one. To be honest, I want Lawrence to get a hat trick. Me too. He might, uh, he'd have so many Forest fans on strings if he bags a hat trick at the city ground. Now, now then, bro. Forest 3-0 says Callum Caldwell. 3-0. I can't really see that happening again. Obviously, anything goes in this game. Kian, what your PS4 name? Kian underscore M. Lol, nice you remember, bro. Obviously, I remember that. I remember he put a good comment on the video, but bad comment on the game. Pop up. Pop by the next away game, mate, because I do the away side loads. I'm bantering with that when I'm around. Jacob Ben says 1-1. One, one. I think tomorrow, obviously, the defensive aspect of our game really needs to be looked at. It always gets capitalised against Forest. Um, and that, that person put there, you can't handle the atmosphere. As much as I hate to say it, it is decent. It is a decent atmosphere uh, when the... When the vlog, oh sorry, when the match does start, Forest they always do seem to sell out, make a decent uh, amount of noise. And I know this is where I say we gotta control the first ten fifteen minutes. I know that's gonna be a big ask for us, but we just have to do it. Calm down the crowd, uh, and I'm sure that good things will follow. That do you think Marriott will start? Yeah, I think he will. Um, as long as you're not left isolated up front. Marriott and Martin do to start together. Yeah, agreed. Pl Ma uh, Marriott playing off the shoulder of Martin would be class. Just thought about that now, actually. That would be top seeing them two play tomorrow together. Causing havoc in the forest defence. Keen, do you know what time the vlog's out? Yes, the vlog tomorrow is going to be out. So, 12.30 kickoff. It'll probably be out for about 3 or 4 o'clock. So, everyone, get them post notifications on. And don't forget to stay, get ready for that vlog because it's going to be an absolute madness as always travelling to the city ground. Good luck, mate, tomorrow from a whole fan. Cheers. Kian, do you sit and edit the video throughout the game? Yes. Yes and no. The first half, I edit at half time. And then I edit as I go in the second half. That's why sometimes I may miss the odd goal. It's not a regular thing. I try not to make it a regular thing. Um, but, yeah, that's why I may sometimes miss the odd goal. Because I'm not recording, like, for the full 90 minutes. Key and I'm gone. Make sure your vlog is carnage when we win. As always, it will be featuring Forest vloggers, which Derby fans may not be happy to hear about. But... It will be a class vlog, and I really do recommend you lot check it out when I drop it tomorrow. About 3, 4 p.m., somewhere around there. Who's the best player at Derby at the moment? Probably Tom Lawrence, Jack Marriott, Doran Tour, link up before game, Kian. Yeah, I'll uh, insta DM you after this. And we'll sort out a place to meet up and link before the game. I'm on that. How many red cards do you think the ref will give? Oh, that would be class if he gives one to them. If he gives one to us, we're in for it. Um, 
I'll probably say he'll give one or two at max. It depends what happens, especially compared to the olden days. Uh, not really as many scraps break out now. And I say olden days, even five, six years ago, that was, it was better than this. If we win, the limbs will be good. The limbs will be class. I'm hoping if we do score, uh, it's not just a con consolation goal because that won't be great. Callum says, Forest fan, Dawson is back. Uh, obviously, that's centre-back, Dawson. I, don't need, I can't even remember if he was playing in the first game, but they seem to be happy about it, so I'm sure he's good. Let's effing batter him. Hopefully, hopefully. I want Christian Bielik to sla snap Lolly's legs. Me too. R.I.P. Keo. Will you ever change your season ticket? No, I think it's all right where I'm sitting right now. Decent view of the uh, game. Uh, you can actually see the other end now. Now that I've got the 11 Pro, which is much better. And when the away end has limbs, it's all captured for you like, on the vlog. So, yeah, I think the seat's where I'm currently sitting now. Of sound, to be fair. Also, everyone on here, don't forget to check out my social medias in the... Yeah, they're going to be in the description down below. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all Kia Marley 11. Easy enough for you lot. So go add me up, follow me up on all of them. For for example, when I put a poll out, uh, do you want to see FIFA videos? Not only did I do it on my YouTube, but I did it on my Twitter and my Instagram. The majority was yes and all three. So I'll definitely get that going uh, for next week. I'll donate if you say Forest are better than Derby. No, I can't do it. Kim, what are your Snapchat? Kim Marley 11. Same team as Borough, but the injuries are let like coach. Yeah, I wouldn't mind the same team as Borough, to be fair. That'd be sound. Lolly has been hit and miss this season. Yeah, not as consistent as last season, but still on his day can rip up any defence in the championship, if you ask me personally. Maybe there's a few exceptions. I know West Brom are solid at the back, Leeds. Um, but yeah, he is a solid player, Joe Lolly. Derby are better than Forest. Yes, yes, they are. Come on, Derby, Byron. Score, score prediction, as I said, 2-1 Rams. Did Koku say Malone was out, or am I hearing things? I think he, he might have a nick. If that is the case, it's not really that deep. I won't mind even starting uh, Max Lowe. That's sound, by, that's sound by me. Joe Lolly is bigger than Tom Lawrence. Probably... He's more proven, um, better on the pitch, on and off the ball. Love your away vlog so far this season, Doron Tour. Whenever we lose, this guy just pops up in the comment section. We lost uh, Brentford, he commented. Charlton, uh, who was the other one? Last week, was it? Hull, he commented as well. Forest are bigger than Derby, from a Sheffield United fan. B Tech. I've heard that Rooney might be coming soon sooner. His contract don't start till the first. So I think our first home game in 2020 is going to be what is it? Charlton at home or Barnsley at home? Something like that. Man like Aiden on here. Ready for the big game tomorrow. Kian, what's your Snapchat? Uh Kian Marley eleven. Yeah, he's just training early, Isaac Burrows. Lau will destroy Lolly. That's what we love to see. If he can get the physical aspect of his game sorted, Max Lowe will be a solid left back because defensively, all right. Attackingly, solid, but he is very weak. He gets dashed off the ball for days. Isaac Burrows, KSI, Logan Paul. Let me know who you're rooting for tomorrow night. I'm per Obviously, I'm rooting for KSI. But my head says Logan Paul's going to win. Uh, anyone who watched the interview yesterday, no, sorry, the press conference, I thought uh, Logan Paul won it. I know he was asking mass questions and that, which looked a bit random. But KSI was like, uh, I do not bleed. And then Logan Paul was like, um, I thought he uh, bleed, sweat and have tears or something. And then KSI said, I bleed internally. Like, he just looked so stupid yesterday. I think they both did, to be fair. Do you think Derby have any chance at playoffs? 
As dead as it sounds, I know the championship is anyone's game. How bottom Middlesbrough could win the league. That's how open it is. But I know that's not very likely, first of all, before I get slated for saying that. So understand that. But this team is a mid-table team at best. If we don't get top six, it would feel like a big disappointment. Uh, but not compared to last season when we had some some elite players. Mason Mount, Tamori at the back, who are playing for Chelsea in the Champions League. Uh, I just watched the Ajax game. And what a game that was, by the way. Harry Wilson, haven't seen much of him recently, especially compared to Mount. Maybe because of the team he's at, obviously, Euro European football. And those asking, yes, I'm going tomorrow. I might do a live stream going up there. So, yeah, tomorrow is just going to be jam-packed of uh, Forest v Derby videos. There's going to be a live more times, more time going up there uh, and pre-match. Then I may do a live stream at half-time as well. So, yeah, anyone who can't make it to the game, I'm going to be your source for tomorrow. Love a Derby day, just hoping we do ourselves justice at Forest. It's going to be tough, we know that, but I'm going to say 2-1 to us. Yeah, that's spot on. Love an away day at Forest, but we've got to turn up. Because if we don't, it's going to be a shit away day. If we do, it's going to be one of the best. It's got that potential to be one of the best away days, uh, but... Yeah, it's just all down to the players. It's all down to the Forest players, how they perform. And it's all down to the Derby players, how well we perform uh, tomorrow. Early kickoff, 12.30. Isaac Burroughs predicts Forest nil, Derby nil. Can you do a live reaction after the game? If you like want to see that, then spam the comment section now. I might just do that. It may result in the vlog being released a bit after. Uh, because obviously I'll be doing a live stream. But if you want to see that, maybe 15, 20 minutes after, do a mini Q&A, uh, get your comments in after the game, like directly after when I'm still in the ground walking out, then let me know and I'll probably do that tomorrow if you want me to. Alex Douglas just joined. Hi, how's it going? Let me know your score prediction in the comment section down below as well. Yeah, so you guys seen that, love that, love that. Everyone's saying yes. Can you do a... Yeah. Kian, I have a question. Do you go games alone or with someone? Uh, I've never been to a game on my own. I've always been with someone, whether it's a mate or my bro. Yeah, never on my own. Trent End will be electric tomorrow. I cannot wait. No, it won't. It just won't. And the only reason it is electric, which electric is something absolutely unbelievable, but... The only reason it's electric, it's their cup final. It just is Nottingham Forest cup final, Derby County at home. Their fans are all going to be up for it. The oldies, the youngies, the youngers. Safe. 1-1. One, one. I think either Martin or Shinny will get a late equaliser. A late equaliser, I'd probably take it. I mean, a point would probably be a, a good draw on the road, considering how awful... We've been uh, on away days recently and considering our previous three, four, five, excuse me, considering our previous three, four, five um, performances at the City Ground, not even just on any random away day, we never really do seem to turn up there. I'm hoping to flick the switch tomorrow and get three points. It'll be massive. Kian, I'm off. Bye. Appreciate you coming on. And don't forget to like the video before you leave. Nice one. Isaac Burroughs, why is that when Forrest are higher up and they gloat even though we finish higher than them for how long now? I know, it's the first time they're higher than us for about 10 years when we're going into the game. And obviously they're going to pipe up. It's their cup final. We need a good run of four. Agreed. Let's, I don't want to say it. I'm, I was going to say let's build from this win. But I said that after Wigan, we lost against Hull. And I'm sure I've said it in previous previews. Uh, when we beat Huddersfield, then we went into, was it Swansea the second game? Look what happened there. We drew, we didn't get a win. So I'm not going to say it, but that's what I'm hoping. We do. It's just because Bridgeford's stand is louder. Kian, I watched you all hour. I appreciate that. Whoever's been on from the start for 34 minutes, quality. I think Lawrence will play good on Saturday. Me too. I think 
has missed the door. The Forest fans said uh, he's going to be up for it tomorrow. Received a lot of stick from Leeds and Forest after the game. And sorry, after the whole car crash incident. Also, news on the car crash incident. Yeah, it's still going on. I know, probably sick of hearing it now. Keo has appealed the decision to sack him and I think he's taking him to court. Uh, any views on that? Any opinions? Um, was he right in doing that? Let me know on the comment section of this video. Have a safe travels tomorrow, mate. I appreciate that. Uh, as always, anyone sees me tomorrow in the um, concourse, let me know. Uh, uh, let me know. We'll link up, and I'll get you in the vlog. Key and I watched all your vlogs, but Barnsley should have Barnsley should have been easy three points, but we scuffed it. I know a lot of games like that, which I do personally believe we're going to look back on the end of the season and regret massively. As, but then you get slated at the same time for saying for panicking, even though we're like four or five, we were like four or five games into the season. But I'm sure you guys can understand where I'm coming from, where if we don't get points at, for example, Hull, who, to be fair, don't get me wrong, they just beat Fulham 3-0. Uh, but teams like Barnsley, uh, obviously Luton, we got a result. Charlton should be at least picking up a point. Uh, and the list goes on. We could have had loads of points this season, but we just missed out on. Huddersfield, we thought it was a good three points. Now seeing him in the start of the season, we should have been expecting about three or four nil. Kieran Marley is a legend. Cheers, Kieran. I swear the Borough fans were chatting he should be in jail when Tom Lawrence scored. Yeah, I know. I don't know what they're on about. I'm just trying to think of any excuse. Typical Borough fans. Dylan, Sangira, what do you reckon the score... What do you reckon the score be tomorrow, mate? I'm going to go for a 2 1 Rams win. Goal scorers, Bielik and Tommy Lawrence. Last minute. Hi, Kian. I live in Derby and I love your videos. I appreciate that. Thank you. Legend. Oliver Jones, best YouTuber. Cheers. Get your notifications on, lads, because tomorrow is going to be absolutely mental. Not only from 12 30. For the next 90 minutes but before that building up to the game we're going to do live streams uh get some fan cams as well hopefully and then after the game another live stream gonna have about four videos out tomorrow because instead of releasing i just thought about this would you guys rather see reacting to the high in fact no i do both this is my schedule for you for you lot tomorrow live stream before the game vlog live stream after the game then probably wait you lot spam the video, get all the likes on, get all the comments on. And then next day, I'll react to the highlights. That's pretty much the schedule now. Born in Forest, but I live in Derby. So tomorrow on Derby side. Love that. I'm glad you're not on the Red Dog side. I'm glad you joined the light side. Keep up the good work. What's your opinion on Koku? So far, so far the football has not been great. But he's a, he's a good manager. Um, I know it's going to take a, a bit of time and... Twitter's going to be absolutely mental if we lose tomorrow. Um, but you just got to stick with the process. I don't believe in getting a new manager every five, six months. Still reigning in Derby. Yes, I think it is a little bit. Once a Ram, always a Ram. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be ending this at... When, when should I end it? An hour? 45 minutes? I'll end this at... An hour, so we got 22 minutes to go. Do you have an Xbox? No, I don't. I got a PS4 for like the 500th time. I heard there's going to be extra police. There always is when we play Forest. Especially depending on the result. If we score last minute, it's going to kick off. If they score last minute, it's going to kick off. Just think if we would have held on against Barnsley, scored that pen against... West Brom scored one of them chances at Swansea we would be about third exactly my point take your chances I'm sure you can all relate playing foot champs playing div rivals don't take your chances minute two minutes to go you go and concede so annoying that's pretty much that's what I don't want to see tomorrow it's going to be freezing tomorrow as well uh, Headers has just mentioned it going to be like three degrees but 
if we're all going mental, the last thing we're going to think about is how cold we are, if there's limbs. I have friended you on PS4. I'll check it out after this. This has got 20 more minutes, then I'll um, give you money game if you want. So, yeah, be sure to add me. Going now, mate. Take care and safe travels tomorrow. Cheers, nice one. And best of luck to the Forest fans. No, why am I saying that? Best... Nice one. That's it. I'm not going to say best of luck to a Forest fan. Game, please. I'll play you after this. This ends in an hour, so... At one hour mark, not in in an hour. Max Roberts, hi Kian. I feel bad for you uh, when you lost 2-0 against my team, Hall City. Good luck this weekend. And also, mate, likewise, appreciate that and good luck to you. Solid performance when you lot played us. Just didn't, didn't give you lot the credit you deserved. It was just more about where we f messed up. Um, but you lot... Through the likes of Grzycki, Jared Bowen. Very, very solid team. Uh, and good luck to you as well this weekend. Kian, it is okay because I have FIFA 20. Are you from Derby, Kian? Yes. What about the floods, Kian? I know, um, I, saw, I think it was on someone's Snapchat, as I said, as I mentioned briefly earlier, uh, that it it looked like a river. I think they're going to have to get their scuba diving set on the players under their bloody kit before they go on. But I'm hoping that they just sort it out, get get it all, get all the water drained before the game. If it does continue, I can't see things going nicely. And to call it off would be an absolute heartbreak for all of us, to be fair, because we're all buzzing. Kian, where do you live in Derby? Little over. My mate's dad left work at 3.30 and he's still stuck in traffic. What? Bro, it's like nine o'clock. He's been in traffic for six hours. Going now up the Rams. Can't wait to take a trip to the city ground tomorrow. Nice one. Like you, mate, I'm absolutely buzzing for the game tomorrow. Pitch inspection not required. Forest, I've said. Sam, that's all right. That's good. I'm not sure whether it is raining now. Uh, hopefully it don't. What's your opinion of Philip Knifton joining the club? Kian, what do you do if it gets cold? I'd be prepared. Take layers, standard away day. Uh, just take coats and that. What is your score prediction for the 500th time? Asks Elliot555. Five, five, five. Um, two one, two one Rams tomorrow. We'll definitely concede. Um, but I'm hoping we get the first goal, they get the second, then we get the third. Last minute, limbs. Hopefully. Doran, talk. Get your fans on my vlog, Ian. Yeah, I will do. Um, anyone on here now? Subscribe to Doran, talk. Solid YouTuber. Obviously, he's a Forest fan, which might. I have a few people set certain opinions on him. But, yeah, good video. So, yeah, subscribe to Doran Tour. Who's your favourite Derby player? All time, probably Mason Mount or Will Hughes. I thought them two were special compared to the rest of our team, really. Them two were special. Uh, and, hang on. Yeah, on FIFA, will I sign Lawrence, Marriott or Davis? I probably sign Lawrence. I think he's like seventy three rated. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying? What do you think of Mark Douglas joining the club? He should be here by next season. Forest fan just want to say good luck. I think you'll need it. Probably will, mate. Never turn up anywhere on the road. Never mind Nottingham Forest for. One of the most important games of our season. Sorry, Jack's just sent me a message, Jack Pugsley. Hello, draw. Kian, is it okay to still play on FIFA? Because I have FIFA 20. Yeah, as I said, when I finish this, I will uh, play you lot. And anyone new on it, drop a like on the video, subscribe, get the notifications on, because tomorrow is going to be a mazza. Do you think Rooney is going... To help the team. Yeah, definitely. Especially in games like this. 
I know he's not there tomorrow, but we play him again. Uh, our last home game of the season is Leeds at home. Uh, just big games like this, Rooney is going to be so impactful. And it's a sick bit of business from Mal Morris, as always. I'm going soon. I've been here from the start. Appreciate that. Our last five games have been win, loss, win, loss, win. So inconsistent. Yeah, I know. It's just up and down and up and down. We can't build on form, which is one thing that Koku does need to work on. I mean, if we lose Koku out, I, w I wouldn't say so. It's not the be-all and end-all tomorrow. If we win, fair enough. If we lose, fair enough. Um, it can't justify Koku. If we... That won't be able to justify uh, Philip Koku, his position at Derby. Fair enough, yeah, if we lose the rest of the games in November, then you start thinking about it. But if we beat, if we lose against Forest, then everyone calls for his head. Then we go and get a result against Fulham. It's just it's just quite a hard one, to be fair. I hate Forest vloggers, but Durham Tour is all right. Yeah, true. What time are you leaving tomorrow? I'm leaving around 10, asks Headers. Yeah, me too. Leaving about 10 o'clock, uh, somewhere around there. Lampard was lots better, I think. I know we had all the media attention. The football, mainly... You can't really compare the two, though, because Lampard had a class set of players to deal with. Koku has a very average set of players to deal with. Um, but Lampard didn't leave in a good way. He just basically saw the opportunity at Chelsea... Left and put Koku came in quite a poor position. It wasn't long till the start of the season. Um, and he didn't ha his only signing was Christian Bielik, that's who he actually chose. Um, but I'm sure we're going to see a few signings in January. January, we do need to, whether it's an attacker, a goalkeeper. I know a lot of people are crying out for a new goalkeeper, but I'm sure Koku will make at least a few signings in January. If we win our home games and don't lose our away games, we will be on a decent form. I know, mate, if we, even if we picked up one point draws away from home, we'd see the difference. Preston at home a day before my birthday. Are you going to make a career mode series? Yes, I am. Um, I'm going to be doing a career mode series sometime next week, probably. Because you guys seem to want it, so you're going to get it. We need some young players and not keep getting really old players. Yes and no. I mean, I, our team isn't really that old right now, I'd say. Obviously, you know, you've got Curtis Davis in there, who is quite old. But we've got a lot of youth in there. Bogle at right back, who I want to say shout out to because he's been called up to the England under 20s. And I'm sure he'll smash it and it's much deserved. Keen, who do you think is better, Daw or Craig? Daw, definitely. We just need injury-free games. We are linked with Sheffield Wednesday goalkeeper. He's called Dawson or something. Very highly rated by Chef fans. I think that would be class to get a new goalie in because not really liking Rue so far, if I'm being honest. I'm saying 5-0 Derby. Tomorrow, 5-0 Derby. Oh my days, imagine the scenes. That that just ain't even realistic. Like I can't see that happening at all. I think we miss Keo. Yeah, we do. I know a lot of fans slated him when he was here. Excuse me. Uh the highlight in his career at Derby. Many fans say was the Zamora. Here you go. Shoot in the top left corner. I'm all staying in the championship. I knew I'd have a nice time in the Prem. But he was a rock at the back, especially especially against the likes of uh, Leeds. When we played him away from home this season, uh, away from home last season as well, the, that run, setting it to Maria, stuff like that, you just don't forget. Um, and he was a great servant to the club, but they yeah, obviously didn't end the way he would have wanted it to when he signed his first contract. United or City? i got to say United. I, I have to be honest, when I... Uh, the other week when, who was it? United played Chelsea. Uh, and, uh, and obviously, I'm always going to support the team that plays against Chelsea because, uh, obviously, stop crying, Frank Lampard. I know you always look out for Martin and Tamori and that. But, yeah, I always support the team that plays Chelsea. 
And I just couldn't support United, like... I just can't support Man United. They're such a don't here club. My B-Day is on Sunday and the Forest game is on Saturday. Are you going to make a career mode series? Yes, I am. Right, long question here from Lord Metalizer, fellow Derby County vlogger. So be sure to subscribe to him if you haven't already. Off-topic question, but football related to an extent. Should future FIFA games have cross-platform play so you can play pro clubs ultimate team with any console who has the latest FIFA game? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the limbs on that, playing someone on PS4 on pro clubs and you've got an Xbox, that pro clubs match would be insane. Even, even an ultimate team game like that. You Reds. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, it's all right, mate. No worries. Don't forget to subscribe to the Lord Metalizer. Do you miss Lampard? Not really. The football was much better, but he only got a sixth. And with that team, I believe if we got a better manager, that, that was a top two team. Easy. And yes, Wilson, Mount and Tamori, ten times better. Levels better than they were last season. Um... But I still think that was so much better than a sixth place team. Like, the potential was here. And we didn't do bad, don't get me wrong. We got the playoff final uh, and just came up short against Villa. A lot of people to blame in that game. Keller Roos coming out like this. John McGinn runs in and scores. Jack Marriott gets a goal. He should have started. Um, but you can't cry over spill milk. It's done now. And we're like 16 to... We'll say 16, we're quite a while into this season now, so it's just, you can't really look back. Kian, last season you went Norwich away, but only was like two minutes long. I didn't even go to that game. I don't know who got misunderstood there, but I didn't go to the game. I can't even remember why. Uh, I got the clips of Goalhanger, another Derby County vlogger, uh, and he only managed to get a few and sent them me, so what a legend. Well, that's why the vlog was like two, three minutes long, if that. Derby lost in the playoff final. Ha, 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 Ryan Austin. I don't know who you support, so I can't really compare. If you're a Villa fan, fair enough. Ryan Austin. Oh, he's a Forest fan. Okay, and are you going City Ground tomorrow? Yes, I am. My Wembley form. 1-0, lost 1. My Wembley form... One, zero, lost two. Because I went in the QPR and when uh, when we played Villa. I didn't go when we beat West Brom, but that if I didn't go to that game, it probably would have been the best game that I've been to. But I was like three or four when, that, when we played them. Question, who do you prefer, Rangers or Celtic? Probably, I don't really know. I don't, to be truthful, I don't really care about the Scottish League. Probably, if I had to pick one, I'll say Celtic. As always, don't forget to drop a like on the video. The video is going to be ending in seven minutes at one hour. Am I going on the train or the car tomorrow? I'm going in the car. Um, never actually... Majority of the games I do go is in the car or the road rider. Only a selective few that I go on the train to. What's the point of wasting your money on Forest Derby? Forest are obviously going to buy them. I don't know. It, you can't really say that because that's like loads of games this season. Why should I have gone to Leeds? On paper, they would have smashed us in half. But we came away with a point. A decent point on the road in the end. Wembley stat. No England games can't. Hull or Leeds? Definitely Hull. Hull any day of Leeds. I'm a Derby fan, but I like Forest Crown, to be fair. Oh, you can't say that. Like, I'm a Derby fan, but I like Forest Crown. To be fair, Keen, on paper, we should win, but it's a Derby. Anything can happen. Couldn't have said it any better. It's a Derby. Anything can happen. And yeah, you lot may have the best team on paper, but anything can happen. So excited to go to the city ground tomorrow. Me too. Cannot wait. Absolutely buzzing. Yo, Keen, sorry, man. I got to go like and subscribe. Absolute legend. And 
to those on here now, follow that guy by liking the video, unsubscribing, and getting them notifications turned on. What do you think the score will be? You Reds, you Rams, 2 1 to the Derby boys, Bielik and Lawrence. Lawrence, last minute, 89th minute. The, the home fans try running on the pitch, getting at him. Derby fans got the Forest fans on strings. Imagine the scenes if Lawrence gets a last minute goal. If you had to support a team instead of Derby, would it be Leeds or Forest? Good question. Uh, probably, I'll probably go with Leeds. Uh, Forest, more of a scummy club, like when I've actually, compared to the times when I've actually been to the ground. Leeds, home and away, really, really good atmosphere. Um, yeah, they are known to be like racist or whatever, but I think that is just only a selective few at any ground. Uh, there's racism at any ground, but yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably say Leeds over Forest. Derby will win. Uh, probably 2-1 I'm a Villa fan I'll love that do you think you'll be promoted N probably not just being realistic when I was younger I knew the city I only knew the city ground and Pride Park Forest 4 Derby 1 says Baz the Barber I can't see that happening anything can go we can we could come out tomorrow this why derbies are so special. We could come out tomorrow and win 5-0, lose 5-0, lose 3-1. That's something you don't get every day. Forget what's on paper, but the game means everything to Forest and Derby fans alike, uh, to the players as well. I'm sure they'll know the difference this time. I suppose I suppose the advantages of uh, playing, playing these, like, at their ground, uh, more of an advantage if we played at Pride Park in the Carabao Cup. The players, um, I'm sure many of the players who are going to start this time were on the bench last time. So they got an idea of, you know, f sort of like from not a player's perspective, not actually on the pitch, looking around at the atmosphere. So, you know, this time it won't be their first rodeo. And I'm sure, hopefully, we can pull off three massive points. You probably don't care, but who will, will who will win, Millwall or Charlton? I'll probably go Charlton. Decent away, um, decent team to be fair. Charlton absolutely battered us off the park. That's just a mix of we were rubbish that day, and it was on the road. Where do you think you will finish in the table? I think we will finish realistically seventh or eighth, maybe just missing out on the playoffs. Um, if we do not get playoffs, I, I don't think it'd be a matter of sacking Koku. I'd probably give him another season after that. Uh, so he gets the full summer to make signings, etc., etc. Obviously, it depends on the style of football we're playing at that time as well. If we're still playing slow, backwards, sloppy football in April and May, then signs won't be good for Koku. And a lot of people will be putting his job under scrutiny, but... If the football's better, but the performances, but the results just aren't quite there yet, then I'd probably say keep him. A draw tomorrow, probably the most realistic thing, tomorrow draw, but that won't be great. It would just be quite unsatisfying, like a nil-nil or something. Um, obviously, it'd be a decent point on the road, but a nil-nil won't be great, just being realistic. Grabbing hat-trick, Dara Harnett. Yeah, he, mate, he's a good, he's a good striker. Um... Proven as well, he's got quite a few goals, not only this season, but in previous seasons. Uh, he was at Villa for a spell, I remember, um, and now he's obviously at you lot. Live streams ending in 54 sec 56 seconds, uh, so get any questions in, uh, any opinions, don't forget to like the video, as always, and cheers. Anyone who's, anyone who's started watching this from the start, and it's still on it. Type it now and I'll shout you out. How about that? Can't wait for tomorrow. See you. Cheers. Don't forget to like the video. We're on 60 likes. It, if we could get that to 65 before this ends, we've got 30 seconds. If we could get that to 65, you're all legends. 62, 20 seconds. Come on, come on. Someone like the video, fam. But we need three likes in 15 seconds. Anyway. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. 
Don't forget to get the notifications on. Tomorrow is going to be absolutely mental. 67 likes. There you go. We've done it. Share it. Share this video around with friends, family, all of that good stuff. Check out the Magic Sponge. Link in the description. And what, without further ado, I will see you all later. Thank you all for watching. And take care. See you all tomorrow. Up the Rams.